is Bhaskar here and today we are going to talk about NC.IO wireless vibration and temperature sensor. So let's get started with the hardware over here. So on my right side I have a wireless modem which can be connected to a computer or an embedded device and it could be Mac, Linux or Windows machine. On my left side I have a vibration sensor with a probe and so let's uh, connect this hardware to a machine and see how we can monitor the vibration and temperature of that particular device. So the first thing, if you get a device, the first thing you will do is make sure you enable the power supply. So there's a power supply jumper in the box and you will need to enable to the PS section over here, which is the right side. So once you plug the, set the jumper, this uh, board will have be powering by battery and now We'll connect this modem to the computer so that we can see the data. So, once you have all this connected, you will uh, will go to the computer and you will download the software from here. I already have all the software, so I'm not going to download it again. And you, uh, I'll go directly to the software and click Run. Over here, select border at 11.52.00 and click run. Now you can see the sensor is sending data to the, this particular computer. Now we'll go to step two and we'll bring a machine which we'll use as our demo kit to monitor that vibration temperature. So, in our case, we are using a heat pump. Uh, and this heat pump is used in our shop to uh, desolder parts and remove chips and all those kind of things. So what I'm going to go ahead and mount this vibration sen probe sensor on there. And once you mount, you may need to make sure that you hit the reset button. What reset button will do, it will recalibrate everything according to this specific machine. So I'm going to go ahead and hit reset button. Once you hit the reset button, you can close the box or the sensor box. And now I'm going to power up the device and we'll see there will be some vibration on. I'm going to remove this one so that we can change some parameter on the machine to generate different, different kind of vibration parameter patterns. So as you can see at this point, the, all the vibration are pretty really low. So let me go and hit the turn on the machine over here. The vibration sensor at this point is sending data after I believe 10 seconds or so, but you can change the time interval based on your requirements. So now you can see the RMS vibration, the max vibration and uh, the minimum vibration all are changing and they're changes according to the um, vibration generated by this particular machine. It's also reading the temperature. Now I'm going to make some changes in the machine and those changes should reflect in our software also. So. Now the machine is, as you can hear, is a little bit louder and it's creating a little bit more shake and a little bit more vibration. Those changes can also be seen on the software now. In the third case, I'm going to change one more condition and that will should change the vibration. Now you can see the vibration is much further and this is really loud, so I'm going to unplug the machine. Once machine is working in idle condition or the real condition was supposed to a few minutes ago, you will see the vibration will drop to the normal condition. These different different cases can be used to determine when the machine is working good or when the machine is working bad. You can check out all other information on our website at nc.io and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Thank you.